Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Coding Card. So today we will try to solve one problem from link list. The problem name is reverse a link list. So here we will be provided a link list and we have to reverse the link list and print the data items in a reverse order. So you can see here the sample input is the very first line is total number of test cases. Here one means there will be only one test cases and the second line is how many nodes will be there. Here five means there will be five nodes in the list and they are having the value one, two, three, four, five. So after reversing the list, the node values are 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So here we have to complete this reverse function and we are provided the head pointer of the initial link list, input link list. So we can solve this problem in two ways. So the very first is using pointer and the second is recursion. So we will try to solve using this using pointer at first. So for example, suppose I have only two nodes having value 1 and 2. So here I will use two pointer P1 and P2. P1 equal to head and P2 equal to P1 dot next. Only two pointers if there are only two nodes. So the approach will be if I write here, if I write logic, suppose I'm writing here p2 dot next equal to p1, it means p2 dot next will point to p1, and if I write p1 dot next equal to none, so this will be none and if I return here p2 so it looks like 2 is pointing to 1 and I am returning p2 means this is my head pointer so this is my reverse list this is the required output so if you are given only two node then only two pointer is required now let me Take one more example where I am taking more than two nodes. Suppose I have three nodes having value one, two, and three. Now I will assign P1, P2, and P3. Let me take P3 equal to P2 dot next. Now the same logic if I write here p2 dot next equal to p1 p2 dot next equal to p1 and p1 dot next equal to none it means p2 is pointing to p1 and p1 is none and if i write next line as p3 dot next equal to p2 p3 dot next equal to p2 it looks like 3 is pointing to 2 and 2 is pointing to 1. Correct? So, if we have 3 nodes, then this logic is working. Now, suppose I have more than 3 nodes. Suppose I have 4 nodes. 1, 2, I'm assigning P1 to 1, P2 to 2 and P3 to 3. Now, let me write the logic here. Here, if I write this logic, suppose P1 dot P2 dot next equal to P1 p2 dot next equal to p1 and p1 dot next equal to none p1 dot next equal to none it means p2 is pointing to 1 and 1 is pointing to none so i am done with this part half part and 
rest of the list is being held by this p3 pointer as p3 is pointing to this node value having value 3 now if i have to now here i have to change some logic if i make means i will make simply move forward if i make p2 to p1 and p3 to p2 and p3 dot next to p3 so my pointer has moved forward it means if i write p1 equal to p2 and p2 equal to p3 and p3 dot equal to p3 dot next so all the pointer have moved forward and again if i apply the same logic i'm writing here if i write here p2 dot next equal to p1 so it's look like p2 dot next equal to p1 so it looks like 3 is pointing to 2 so it is it will be like 3 is pointing to 2 and 2 is pointing to 1 and 1 is pointing to none now i have here p1 p2 and p3 and if i write this same logic one more time this will be deleted and p2 will be p1 and p3 will be p2 and p3 will be none as p3 equal to p3 dot next and p3 dot next was initially none so p3 will be none so you can see here if i write the logic here p2 dot next equal to p1 p2 is currently this node and p2 dot next equal to p1 this is p1 after changing so it looks like 4 is pointing to 3 4 is pointing to 3 and this is my p2 and at last if i return p2 then this will be my head pointer so this logic will work and i have to write this logic in a loop where while p3 is not none i have to iterate this logic whenever this p3 is none i will simply come out and return this p2 so let us write the logic it will be more clear here initially i will take p1 equal to head p2 equal to p1 dot next and p3 equal to p2 dot next correct now suppose initially there was only two node then p2 dot next equal to p1 and p1 dot next will be what none so i am done with only two node now if suppose there are multiple nodes more than two then i will apply the logic for checking of p3 while p3 is not none if p3 is not none i will simply move this forward i will simply make p1 equal to p2 p2 equal to p3 and p3 equal to p3 dot next so i have moved forward with these three pointers and i will simply make p2 dot next equal to p1 this one p2 dot next equal to p1 after moving forward i'm just making p2 dot next point to p1 so i'm done so whenever this p3 is none i have to break the loop and i will return p2 so you can see here whenever this p3 was none i have to just return p2 so this logic will work this logic will work quite simple logic let us run this code 
So you can see here we are done with the sample input test cases. Let us submit this code. So congratulations, we are done with the hidden test cases. So this was our very first approach with the help of pointers. So in next session I will be showing you the same logic with the help of recursion. So if you like this video, please do give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.